Ciao friends, today I wanted to talk about one of the most influential figures in the modern history of F1, Chase Carey, and what he brought to the sport in his only a few year tenure as CEO. He of course took over when Liberty Media bought the sport from Bernie Eccleston and left this year to be replaced by Stefano Dominicali. But to really understand the impact that Chase Carey had on the sport, we need to first look at Bernie Eccleston's tenure. Because Bernie innately understood one thing, and that was broadcast television. He may not have been the most palatable of figures around the paddock, but he really did know how to promote the sport. The way Eccleston worked his way around broadcast rights, as well as the technologies of broadcast television, changed not just F1 or motorsports, but sports and live TV in general. The way he pushed for widescreen and HD and data channels and stuff like that was unparalleled, quite frankly. But there was one thing he never quite understood, and that was the internet. And of course, in this world, that became increasingly impossible to avoid. Under Bernie, F1's social media channels were fundamentally shut down. The sport was a closed shop, open only to the traditional broadcasters that Bernie had always negotiated with. But when Liberty Media took over and Chase Carey was in charge, all of that changed. Because Liberty, under Mr. Carey's leadership, had that same innate understanding. But this time around, for new media, for the internet. They understand that social media is how you promote a sport like this nowadays. Stuff like Netflix's Drive to Survive would never have been possible just a few years ago. Hell, I'm pretty sure I would have got a letter by now from F1 telling me to stop doing this. And of course, we can't forget F1 TV, which is a $10 a month unlimited streaming service with no ads for F1 and F2 and F3 and Porsche Super Cup as well. We don't get that here. We have to pay £35 a month for Now TV Sky Sports because of a contract that Bernie signed before he left. And I know there are a few issues with F1 TV, but it's not like Now TV is perfect either, so. And while Mr. Carey was not in charge for all that long, about four years, he really did turn this sports ship right around. And I'm really excited to see where Stefano Dominicali takes it from here. Of course, Stefano Dominicali was team principal of Ferrari for a few years there, including uh, during Kimi Raikkonen's win and Massa and Alonso's near misses. But it will be a shame to not see the second greatest moustache in Formula One history in charge anymore. I think the path that Formula One is taking right now is a good one. The future looks bright. They seem open to trying new ideas and seeing what sticks. And sometimes maybe those ideas aren't always the best thing, but without them, we wouldn't have the budget cap. We wouldn't have the sprint races they're trialing this year and we wouldn't have a second race in America next year. And of course, under their existing leadership, they've brought a hell of a lot of new fans into the sport, including myself, because I watched 2009 as a kid, but I fell out of love with the sport. It was Liberty Media, frankly, that brought me back in. They made it feel like a new generation, less gatekeepy and restrictive. And that is always a good thing. But that's just my opinion, of course. What did you think of Chase Gary? Are you excited to see how Stefano Dominicali gets on? Thank you so much for 400 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to, please consider doing that down below. Like the video if you liked it. Share it if you know someone else who might as well. Share your thoughts in the comments or on the brand new Discord server. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you next time.